Hey guys, so today I'm back with a homeware haul for you all. If you guys don't know, I moved house just before Christmas and to be honest, we haven't really done that much to it. It's a really big project house, um, so there's a lot of things that need doing and it's been kind of a tricky one because I haven't really known or had, I haven't really had the time because I've been traveling a lot. I haven't really had the time to stand back and think like, what do I need or where's it going or things like that or even have time to actually shop for things that we do need in the house. So this weekend I was getting organized. We had like a massive clear out of some of the storage areas um, of the kitchen and stuff. And I went and bought quite a lot of things from HomeSense. HomeSense is my favorite, favorite place to shop for home stuff. This isn't sponsored by HomeSense, I'm just obsessed. Um, they just have really, really good things and they're really affordable. It's the same as Home Goods in the States, if you guys are wondering. They are linked to TK Maxx, so it's basically the home section of TK Maxx in a whole shop. If you've never been to a HomeSense before, they're amazing. Um, so yeah, I bought loads of stuff. A lot of it is like wrapping paper and stationery as well, just because they have an amazing stationery section and I hit that up quite hard. Um, and then there's a few gifts and stuff in there as well. But I'm just gonna show you everything I got. I'm actually not gonna start in any particular order because it's all like piled up. Um, so I'm just gonna start here with these bowls. So these are actually a gift for my friend Katie for her wedding present. We went out to her wedding in South Africa um, a few weeks ago and um, obviously we didn't take a gift out to that because like she'd have had to then bring it back to England. But I found these bowls in Home Sense that I just thought were really cute and ended up getting her a set of six of them. So they're basically these colored bowls that you could use for like cereal or soup or whatever you want to use them for. Um, but they're all different colors on the outside. So there's three different designs. There's orange, green, and then there's also, hang on a minute, there is a blue as well. So they look like that, but then on the inside they have hand painted um, animals. And because she got married in South Africa, I thought this was quite fitting. So there's giraffes on this one. There are leopards on this one. Or cheetah. Are they leopards or are they... I think they're cheetah actually, in fact. Um, and then that there are um, zebras on this one. So I just thought they were really cute. And they were really affordable actually. I think they're about £3.50 each. So I just thought they were quite a cute little presents. So they are going to my friend Katie and her now husband, weird. And then I have this huge bag. Oh my God, it's really heavy. Okay, what is in here? I have a lot of things. First of all, I'll, I'll finish off the gifts because these are actually gifts for my sister, um, but I thought you guys would like to see them because I know everybody loves a bit of rose gold, right? These are like copper, not real copper, fake copper, basically like rose gold kitchen utensils. And my sister is newly obsessed with rose gold. I feel like, about a year and a half ago, she was like, oh, I don't get what all the hype is about when I was on about rose gold. Now she wants rose gold and everything. And she has pans, like copper pans. So I just thought they'd look really nice in her kitchen. There's a slotted spoon, a normal spoon, and then a flipper. I think they call it a turner, a slotted turner. What do you guys call these that you flip your eggs with? Um, yeah, and these were five pounds each. So they are for my sister. She's coming to stay next weekend. So I thought I would get those for her. And then I have a giant bag of stuff. So. Let's start with bathroom things. So first of all, I picked up this soap dispenser, which I don't always have soap dispensers because I think sometimes if you have nice soap, like Jo Malone soap or whatever, you don't want to use it. But if you are wanting to long-term save a bit of money, it definitely helps to get one of these and then you can fill it up with like the one pound soap that you buy in Waitrose and it still looks really fancy. So I got this for um, one of our spare rooms has a sink in the room so like it's in a cupboard and you like open the cupboard and there's a sink there um so i got that fit in there because there's not like a soap a nice soap in there at the moment it's just like a normal piece of soap um so yeah i got that fit in there this was 12.99 i just really like the kind of like silver moroccan inspired design and then i also got two more of these for other bathrooms as well they are clear plastic like perspex but i just thought they looked really kind of clean and plain and just, yeah, simple. And I really liked them. I don't even know what appealed to me about them. They just, something about them I really like. These were 12 pounds each, which I thought was quite expensive for what they are, considering where they were from, but I just really liked them. So I got two of those, one probably for the downstairs loo and then one for the guest bathroom, I think. And then what else did I get? I also, oh my God, I got these. I love these. I got two sets of these coasters. They come in sets of four, and I got one set which has blue in the middle, so they're basically 
like a white marble coaster with a bit of, is it a gate in the middle? Anyway, I just thought they were really pretty. They looked like something you'd get in anthropology that would be like 15 quid each and they were 7 99 for four. So I got that set, which is blue. These are for the kitchen. And then I also got this set, which have pink in the middle. So I really, really like these. And I thought for 7 99 it's like two pounds each. I thought that was a really good buy. I think they're really pretty, so I got those. And then I also got some picture frames, and I feel like picture frames are one of those things that I always get and then leave them, like, without a picture in for so long, but I just got back from holiday and I took some amazing pictures, so I am going to print them off and I'm going to put them in frames. So I got four picture frames. The first two I got are probably going to go in the guest room, and these are, like, hammered silver picture frames. Which I really like. These were £10 each. Get some nice pictures in those. And then I also got two wooden frames as well, which look like this. And these are probably going to go in the other spare room, I think. But I really like these. They're kind of like faded wood. Pretty much everything that I buy for the house is grey, silver, or like natural wood, because that's just my favourite. Um, and then the other stuff that I got that's in this bag is all stationery related and it's all freaking amazing. The first thing I got are thank you cards. I'm obsessed with writing thank you cards and like proper letters and stationery and cards and things. So I got these. These are from a brand called George Stanley. They were £5 for 15 and they're quite cool because the actual design of them is like an envelope but then they go in an envelope themselves. So like you open up the card like this and it's like a card but then it goes in the neon envelope as well. All very neon, we're getting a lot of flashback from the lights because it's so, so bright. But I love those. And then the other ones that I got, got more thank you cards, can never have enough basically. Um, these are from Ruby um, and these were five pounds for 16. And again, neon with like natural, or like kind of like a beigey off-white color and then gold writing. And there's four designs. I've used a couple of these already actually. There's the thanks, there's you rock in neon pink, which I love. And then there's You Are So Awesome in yellow. And then there's another one at the back that says many thanks with a little yellow line at the bottom, if you guys can see. There it is. Um, yeah. So they are the thank you cards I got. Last me for a few months. And then I also got an absolute ton of gift bags. I feel like April for me is the month of birthdays. I have so many birthdays coming up in April and May. I also know two people who are about to have babies, so they will be getting baby presents and just, yeah, it's obviously Mother's Day and like Mike's mum and my mum will be getting presents for that as well. So like I have a lot of gifts to be giving in the next month or so. So I got loads of gift bags. Most of these were 150, I think pretty much all of them actually. First one is this flamingo one with the pink ribbon. It comes with, with um, Tissue paper, that's the word, always useful because I never have the tissue paper. Then I got this sparkly one which says happy birthday, love that. Then I got this like watercolour one which I thought was really, really pretty with a like Moroccan kind of tag on it. Got this stripy one with the gold spots, you can never have enough gift cards. I got two welcome little one ones for my friends that are having babies. And then I also got this like palm leaf one with the baby pink um, tag. So yeah, I'm sorted for presents for the next month. And I also got gift wrap. This seems very, very strange. I'm like, I got gift wrap, but I love this gift wrap so much that I wanted to show you guys. My friend Libby, who I was with, spotted this one first, which is the Flamingo Glittery Pink Gift Wrap. It was five pounds for three meters. Or is that even three meters? It's not even, it's three sheets of not even a meter, but it's so good, it's so pretty. I just love it. And then I spotted this one, which is basically got glittery piglets with a party hat on it. It's got glittery blonde sausage dogs with hats that say happy birthday. I was like, I can't not buy it. I can't. It's made to be bought by me, basically. So yeah, I got those as well. And then I also went a little bit towel crazy and a little bit rug crazy. The rugs, I can't physically show you, but I'm gonna show you pictures of them. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen them on my Instagram stories um, because I posted about them on there. But I also picked up um, a load of towels because I really, really love this color. Whenever I buy towels, I tend to get um, white or like really pale grey and these ones are DKMY and they were in home sense for the hand towels were 4 99 and the bath sheets so they're like the really big ones were 12 99 and I just really liked the colour they're just really really pale grey and then they have this little kind of like folded detail on them that I really liked as well so I got 
two hand towels and then three bath sheets which seems like an odd number but in our guest bathroom it's like basically going to be used like when we have a lot of friends staying we use by more than just like one set of people so I feel like you can never have enough baths and then I also got a new bath mat for in there because the bath mat is really old um and I got this one which is a really nice fluffy it's actually covered in bits of leaf this must be from outside um it's a really nice fluffy white bath mat and it was 16.99 yeah that's not very exciting is it and then the rugs that I got I got three rugs which I was actually super excited about because I always look for rugs in home sense and I so rarely find any that I like this time I found three rugs in one visit and two of them were on clearance so the first one I got is a runner it's like um almost like seagrass like really quite harsh textured runner but it's to go in our kitchen at the moment it's in the hallway because piglet has issues with her rugs being moved and we tried to move the rugs yesterday and she basically had a bit of a breakdown um and refused to leave the kitchen so we've had to have a little bit of a reshuffle and then we're gonna like slowly move them so that she hopefully doesn't notice but this runner was 43 pounds which i thought was really good because rugs can be so expensive it's like a really nice kind of blue gray tone and it has like zigzags across it i was really happy with that one and then i also got this one which is is like a kind of checkerboard kind of design um, again this was on clearance for 75 pounds 74 pounds I think which was I thought was really good as well because it's really soft really nice quality um, and that's to go in the spare room at the moment the decor in the spare room that you'll see in the background is changing so the carpet's changing and the wallpaper is getting painted just a really nice kind of like pale shade of grey and so it's going to be a little bit more in tune with the carpet that's underneath the rug because at the moment that does not go um but yeah so that is um the second rug that I got and then the third one is was actually quite a lot more expensive I think this was around the 200 pound mark this is actually Calvin Klein um home from Home Sense, and um it's really nice again kind of like um a rough textured kind of hessian kind of um vibe to it but it's a little bit more polished um and i wanted this to go in between these two sofas that we have um in our kind of like conservatory area and it is going to have a coffee table over the top but i don't have the coffee table yet because we haven't found that yet um but i was really happy with it even though it was a bit more expensive it was kind of like the perfect size and everything and it's quite a lot bigger than the other two so that was the third rug i got and that is it for this video. I feel like it's been such a random selection of bits and bobs, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing um, some of my homeware stuff. And yeah, I feel like I I've had so many questions since I moved about doing more home videos, but honestly, the main reason why we haven't is because we haven't really done anything yet. Um, the only thing we've actually done to the house so far is to hardwire the Wi-Fi, um, because before it was like in one room and it just wouldn't leave the room because the walls are really thick. So um, we've managed to like get Wi-Fi all over the house now, which is great. Um, and obviously being a blogger, essential for me. Um, so yeah, we basically haven't really done anything. So you guys, I will be sharing a little bit of the kind of like home renovation process for certain rooms with you guys, but um, it won't be probably for a little while because we haven't been doing anything yet. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.